I'm going to give you a method of calculating how much of a post-workout meal you should have. You don't need fat in your post-workout meal. The reason is fat slows the digestion of proteins and carbohydrates. That's great for a meal where you want to feel full for longer, right? But in, after a post-workout meal, we want to shuttle those nutrients to the muscle tissues faster. We want to begin recovery. We want to replenish glycogen stores. So I'm going to only use proteins and carbohydrates in my post-workout meal to see the best results. You're going to take 0.2 to 0.4 grams of protein per kilogram of your body weight. For carbohydrates, you're going to take 0.4 to 0.8. So basically just double the number from above grams per kilogram of body weight to calculate your carbohydrate intake. Let's make it simple. Let's say I weigh 220 pounds. How many kilograms is that? 100 kilograms. So I am 100 kg. Okay. For protein, I would need to have between 20 and 40 grams of protein. Double that number and I'm going to have 40 to 80 grams of carbohydrate in my post-workout meal. We're going to burn through a lot of our stored carbohydrates in the form of glycogen while we exercise. So you have to replenish that in order to have high performance on a daily basis. You could take Progenix More Muscle, which is 30 grams of protein, and use that as your protein source. It has carbs in it, 10 grams, okay? I could take a 32 ounce, that's the big guy, bottle of coconut water and mix it with my, my Progenix and that's about 60 grams of carbohydrates. 